Greetings to the esteemed members of the CPU Board of Trustees. My name is Dr. Rosana Grace Bello de la Riarte, former Dean of the College of Nursing, West Visaya State University. I am now retired from government service, and at present, I work as a faculty member, part-time, in the College of Nursing, Central Philippine University, my alma mater. In 1998, I formulated a transcultural nursing program between Truman State University, located in Kirksville, Missouri, USA, and West Visaya State University. The transcultural program aims to enhance the knowledge, attitudes, and skills of nursing students in identifying the influence of culture on health and illness and provide nursing care that is culturally congruent and acceptable. The program was approved by the governing boards of both universities and eventually resulted to a memorandum of understanding based on the objectives and activities stipulated in the program. We had a 20-year love affair with Truman State University until my retirement. Every year then, about 10 to 15 nursing students and faculty from TSU would come to Iloilo City to have their exposure at the University Hospital, Social Hygiene Clinic, Western Visaya Sanitarium, and selected barangays in Iloilo Province for their community health nursing. This was one activity our students and faculty would always look forward to every year. And this was one activity where memories would always last a lifetime. This program is among the best practices cited, which helped us attain the level four accredited status from the accrediting agency of chartered colleges and universities in the Philippines or AACO, and a center of development in nursing education by CHED. This is one area CPU College of Nursing should explore. Transcultural nursing can further enhance the reputation of Central Philippine University internationally. This can also help the CPU College of Nursing to a great extent in their effort to become center of excellence in nursing education. Thank you. Good day everybody. My name is Gabriel Ortigoza. I am a Centralian. I graduated from Central Philippine University College of Nursing class 1991. I am here to talk to you the importance of uh, transcultural nursing and I did my research and I would like to share it with you. Let me read this one. Google defines transcultural nursing which means being sensitive to cultural differences as you focus on individual patients, their needs and their preferences. Show your respect to your patient for their culture by asking them about it, their beliefs, and related healthcare practices. Growing up, we speak our native language, which is Hiligaynon. We have our cultural biases. We thought Ilocano people are Kuripo, Tagalog people are Mayabang. When I landed a job in Metro Manila, I realized I have a hard time talking in Tagalog. It is hard to communicate and express ourselves. When I moved to California, I thought it could be easy because I know how to speak English, but I was wrong. I have to practice speaking English to hone my communication skills. I also have to learn the American culture as I deal with my American patients at Kaiser Permanente and American nursing students at the University of California, Davis, and California State University, Sacramento. When I taught online class at CPU this uh, second semester 2021, I have no problem. Why? Because I know the culture of my fellow Ilongos. People have spiritual belief, rituals, power words, and dreams. There are these are culturally based healing belief system. Our goal is to include it in our conventional treatment 
to accelerate healing process and to gain the trust and confidence of our patients, their families, and their loved ones. Nursing is the most trusted profession for 19 years now in the entire United States of America according to the Gallup poll. Nurses are the coordinator of care. We deal with different cultural backgrounds of our patients and our co-workers at the hospital. We need to know and understand their culture so we can incorporate cultural beliefs to conventional treatments. People have biases. We have the solution to that. Though it takes time to undo these biases, we need to get that first step. We look people based on their existing system of our society. We look people based on their social system. We look people based on their economic system. We have healthcare system. We have patients with and without health care insurance coverage. We look at them based on their capacity to pay. Ladies and gentlemen, as long as the sun rises in the east, there is hope. We have solutions to those biases through education and training. We need to educate and train our students on the different cultures of people and to deal with them holistically with respect to have a smooth relationship with each other. As the old saying goes, respect begets respect. Thank you very much and thank you for your time. Nursing is a global profession. The College of Nursing's responsibility is to provide adequate preparation for nursing students to transcultural care. The transcultural nursing theory by Madeleine Leninger involves knowing and understanding different cultures concerning nursing and health illness caring practices, beliefs, and values to provide meaningful and efficacious nursing care services. Anchored in the theoretical framework of Madeleine Leninger, the College of Nursing Curriculum Committee has injected innovative curriculum redesign as part of internationalization and innovations as requirements to the college's application to become a center of development or the much coveted center of excellence. To provide breadth and depth to the student's cognitive understanding, it is imperative to offer a related learning exposure for the students to become sensitive to the needs of patients from various cultures as societies become increasingly global and complex. Let me share a personal perspective. While working as an advanced practice nurse in Los Angeles, California, I had an academic appointment as an assistant clinical professor in nursing at the University of California, Los Angeles. UCLA is a world-renowned university that has embraced cultural diversity and has welcomed international students with open arms. That said, perhaps we can explore possible future collaborative activities with UCLA. Thank you, Board of Directors, for the opportunity.